everybody welcome back to my channel never too late it's Kim here I am here today with this monstrous bag from Timu I have no idea how many orders are in here and what's in here but we are going to open it and see and if there's any clothes or shoes or I will try them on um first off I just want to say welcome and I really appreciate you coming and watching this video if you have not subscribed please do and also, if you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. And I love to hear your comments, so please leave me a comment as well. Um, and if you'd like to know when my videos are uploaded, you can hit the notification bell. Okay, let's get into this right away. I'm getting a later start than I had intended today. So, I want to get this video filmed before my husband gets home. Um, okay, let's see. I'm gonna kind of put this to the side okay I heard something clicking and this is what it was these are little um, hair clips they're just different colored little um, small because I have very thin fine hair so I need smaller clips sometimes if I want to just put a little bit back or a side back okay so they're just really cute little little flowers little flower uh, clips and they come in a black, a peach, um, an off-white, uh, kind of a brown, and then this kind of um, almost a gray. I think there's one, and then there's, oh, this is that brown again. So anyway, really, really cute. I love that they come in a little container, too. Very cute. I did hear something shaking around in there, making noise, and I was... I was a little bit afraid something got broken, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, looks like I have been back in the makeup department shopping. You know, when these things are on the really low lightning deals and they're really, really inexpensive, I sometimes have a hard time not trying different colors. Um, and this is a, this is another pink palette that I bought. It looks very similar to the other one I got. It may be the exact same one. I may have bought it twice, but that's fine because I like it and I will hold on to it and I will use it. And then I could even keep one in my purse maybe. Um, all right. Next I have, this looks like some other, oh, this is an eyeshadow stick, an eyeshadow stick. So I did get some eyeshadow sticks that I really liked. They had like the, um, the, I, I, eyeshadow pencil on one end and then a brush on the other end and it, they were really nice and I I'm just gonna use the scissors I meant to order some more of those so this might I may have done that and this might be what that is um let's see if this is the same thing okay whoops yes I think it is because <laughs> I took the top off so you see and I just stuck my fingernail in it. Okay. Looks like it's missing one of the caps. Or I dropped it on the floor. I don't know. Um, anyway, it is this. It's got a brush. Really nice brush at the end. And then it's this bronze color, which I just stuck my fingernail into. Um, but that's it's kind of what it looks like. Kind of a bronze. Man, my skin is dry. Okay. I need to figure out what I did with the... I think the lid might be on the other end. Yes. So the lid is just stuck in the box. Give me a second while I cut this lid out and free it. Wow. Okay, there's one. <laughs> stuck. It has been that kind of a day. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so it's got a lid on the top for the... Um, actual color and then there's another little lid that goes on the bottom no maybe it goes the other way this one goes no nope, definitely that way okay I might just leave the lid off most of the time but then there's a lid also for the little brush so I just loved that it had the color and the brush all in one very nice all right let's hope we get off to a better start with the rest of the stuff because that was that was a little messy there. It has been that kind of a day though. Nothing horrible, nothing bad, just little frustrating things all day. 
This looks like a sweater. Well, this looks like another cardigan in just a different color. Um, this is a really nice maroon color. Tissue paper in there. It's a really nice maroon and it has buttons. Let me hold it up so you can see. It has these nice wooden looking buttons and then pockets with a kind of a nice little, almost like a cable knit kind of design. It's very nice. It looks very warm and cozy. I can't wait to try that one on. Okay, I'm just gonna put all these that I'm trying on over to the side. Wow, there seems to be quite a lot of clothing in here. That's why it was so fat, I guess, sweaters. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure my hands are clean for this one. Um, This is a little lace, a lace shirt to wear over something else. I just thought it was really beautiful. Look at the sleeves, isn't that pretty? I hope it fits, but it would be to wear over in the summer, you could wear it over a tank top or a cami. In the winter, maybe I would wear it over like a long sleeve t-shirt or something, I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of possibilities, but it was it's so pretty and it's kind of an off-white color. So pretty. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is a t-shirt, okay. This is a holiday t-shirt. I, I know I've been saying I'm gonna replace some of my t-shirts with some holiday ones. And since I've been so enamored with flamingos, I got myself a Christmas flamingo t-shirt. Of course I did. It's very cute, it's very soft. Once again, it definitely feels more polyester than cotton and it is, but it's very soft, so I don't mind that. Very cute, very cute. I'm excited for that one. I do like to wear Christmas t-shirts a lot of the time because I do get hot. All right, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do. This is just that little um, crop cami to wear under other things, to put under something where maybe I don't want to show as much cleavage as it's showing. Um, so that's all that one is. All right, another sweater. This is very orange. I don't have a lot of <clears throat> orange. This is kind of like a rust orange sweater. Hold it up so you can see. It's very pretty. It's got gathered uh, gathered sleeves on the bottom. It's got a little um, little V here on the side, cut out a little venting on the sides. And then it has kind of a mock turtleneck. So it will be very warm. This will be a great sweater for wearing outside over jeans. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be, if it'll be long enough to wear over leggings. I just don't know to try it on and see. Okay, I think this is another tank. Ooh, I think there's a couple of, there's a shoes in here too. Um, yes, this is just another little cami tank. These were on like super clearance, I guess, because they're more of a summer thing. But for me, they're great for wearing under another shirt in the winter or under a sweater or something like that. Um, and I, I actually kind of like them when they're short because then I'm not having to worry about them rolling up or pulling up. It drives me crazy with some of the camis that I have. So just a little lilac one, like the brown one. Very nice. All right. These boots, I don't know if they're great or they're hideous. I really don't. But I was very intrigued by them, so I wanted to give them a try. Here they are. They are red, kind of an orangey red on the bottom, and they are kind of in almost look like embossed with some little flowers. And then the sides have this blue pattern. They do zip up the sides. And then across the front, they have this like orange, these orange straps and buckles. Um, I don't know, honestly. I need to try them on. I thought they could be very cute with jeans and a sweater or leggings and a sweater. They kind of they just kind of make me think like Holland and tulips and I don't know. They just gave me a kind of Nordic feel. And then the bottom is, it's not real cork, but it kind of looks like cork. So I'm very excited to try these on and see what they look like on. I really, 
I was just very intrigued by them, so I wanted to give them a shot. Okay, this I remember is a pair of bicycle shorts. Um, and they were once again really, really on clearance, but they were just really cute. They're blue with these white flowers. They just they were just fun. I just wanted to add them into my uh my exercise shorts drawer. I think they're very cute. Okay. Looks like I bought a big pack of socks that are mini colored. I think my thought behind this <clears throat> was that it would just be nice to have a plain pair of socks to go with different things. So there's black and white and yellow and orange, gray, brown, a blue, a lighter blue, kind of a, a dark gray, and then a red pair. So those are just, like I said, basically to just, I wear boots a lot in the winter and I just wear, I go through a lot of socks. You know, my socks are dirty a lot and I just, I'm going to get rid of a lot of the ones that I have. And so I just wanted some basic colors that I could just throw on under boots with whatever I happen to put on. All right. This is another hat, but this one is for Christmas. It is so so cute and it says it says oh dear and it's got a deer and I thought it was supposed to light up yes okay so supposedly yes and it lights up <laughs> yes how cute how cute is this I am going to have so much fun with that hat. So much fun. Let me show you up close. And then on the back, it's the back of the deer's head. And then it's got a little poof ball. I'm going to turn it off though because I don't want to waste all the batteries. Oh, okay. When you press it a second time, it blinks a little slower, I think. And then it's on steady and then it's off. So it has three different settings even. That is too cute. Too cute. I love that one. I love it. Okay. Next is another sweater. I'm telling you, I may have gotten carried away with this material, but the problem is I bought several things and then they ended up being too small. Yes. Okay. This one is, I bought it in a bigger size. So I did buy this. I loved it, but it just was really tight. So I did get it in a bigger size to try. So this one is a, a repeat but it's just so soft. It's got that V-neck that kind of folds over. I, I'm hoping that this one is a little looser and will look a little, I, I think if it's looser, it'll look so cute with jeans, with my black jeans. Um, oh, I think these are leggings. I have really loved the leggings I have gotten from Timu. Not all of them. I've gotten some that were very um, polyester feeling I didn't like. But then I've also gotten some like these that are just so soft. Just unbelievably soft. And these are just so cute. Look at that. I just think with a red sweater or I don't know, even that orange sweater I got might look very cute with these. Um, I just loved, I wanted a pair of plaid ones. I just thought be great be so fun I don't I put like I put my desk a little too far to the side so I keep leaning over okay all right I honestly do not remember these at all they must have been super duper summer clearance and I just saw them and thought they were cute but they are cute and I don't have a pair of dark brown sandals so that's what I got these for they are very soft in the inside they're very soft um these are cute these would be very cute for just wearing around a little bit of a wedge so yes I like these I I like I said I don't remember ordering these but I'm guessing they were one of those deals that popped up and they were just, because they're summer and it's heading towards winter, they, um, 
were just really, really inexpensive. Okay. I got another one of these, which is this little thing. Um, and I've gotten them in several different colors, but it's basically, it is, I don't know exactly how it works, but I don't know, but it is one of those things that somehow, if I can figure out what you do with it, but somehow it goes together and you use it to open a, a window. Like if you were to be in a flood and your car got underwater or you went off the road into a ditch and it was full of water um, and you couldn't get your windows open because of the pressure or the water pressure or whatever. This is one of those things that can open the window. Um, and it comes with a, like a little keychain thing. I got these in several different colors just so I could put them in Christmas stockings. Just seemed like kind of a handy thing to just keep in the car. Um, oh, another, another little tank. This one in a blue. Um, these, like I said, just to wear under other things. Um, I have too many socks. I think I lost it a little bit on the socks. Um, but these, I might have so I swear some of them I think I've even bought twice. I think I already bought this set actually, but there is a blue pair, oops, some thread, a blue pair, a light beige blue pair, um, a kind of blue and green pair, a green and beige pair. This one's kind of got some mustard in it. So there's a bunch of different pairs. Um, they're very textured. Um, I'm going to check and see if I have gotten a second set and then I will do one of two things. I will either return them or I may keep them in if I sell some of the things I plan to sell on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, whatever, then I would have a little gift to put in as like a little freebie gift just to, I don't know, be nice, but I'll check that out and, and decide which one to do with that. All right, this is another set of socks that I couldn't resist and you will see why. They are so cute squirrels. I may give some of these to my daughter as well for Christmas. Um, there's little squirrels. So cute. Then there's little, um, like evergreen trees. And this one has a little deer. It's Bambi. This one is just a checker pattern. And this one just has some little, uh, evergreen trees as well. These are very cute. I remember seeing the, the, the squirrel and I was, I was sold too cute. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, and the thing with these socks is they all come in sets. It's not like the ones I've been looking at, they're five pairs for however much, $3, $4. I always buy them when they're on the three or $4 side or usually anyway, no more than like $5. So they end up being less than a dollar or a dollar and a bit of change a pair. Um, but I don't always like every pair, but there's always one or two pairs in there that I really wanted. So like I said, I may go through and give some to my daughter, or put them in Christmas stockings or use them as gifts in my Poshmark and stuff sales. Um, if you saw, I did, I did a, um, a haul not too long ago and I had bought a harness because I've been wanting to find one of these harnesses to wear over shirts and I don't know, dresses. I'm, I'm going to at some point make a video using it and, and showing you what I mean with it. But this is a different one. I got one and it had like a chain on it and I wasn't sure, you know, if that one would fit, but it actually did. So I had gotten a second one just because I wanted to see if it would fit um, and have at least one that fits. So I'll try this on and then I will probably look at both of them and see which one I like best and then return the other one. Um, the other one, like I said, it had a chain on it. And so I think if this one fits, I'll probably go with just the plain one, but I'm going to have to try them both on, you know, at the same time and see, we will see. Okay. I am at the last thing. That is why this bag was so big because it had, sorry, that was a lot of noise. It was so big because it had a lot of shoes and sweaters. That's why. Okay. I couldn't resist the purple boots and they have this little detail here with the metal and they are zip up. They're very, um, faux suede. Um, not a lot of cushion inside, very flat. So I may put a, have to put a, um, 
another insole in there on top, like a softer insole, but I thought they were really pretty and I just, I had a pair of purple high boots and they were high heeled and came up to almost my knee and they, I loved them so much. But after COVID, I got rid of them because they just weren't practical and I, I just didn't think I was actually going to wear them. So these are kind of my replacement. You know, they're, they're different, but they just give, you know, there's still a pair of purple little bootlets and the other ones were full boots, but you know, they just still give me that little purple, something I can wear with jeans or, or whatever. Anyway, I saw them and I just missed my other purple boots. So it's my try at finding some to replace them that I will actually wear. Okay. That was, well, not that fast, but, <laughs> but not that long either. All right. I am going to try things on as fast as I can um, and finish this video up. So I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back with the card again. Here we go. And I can button it if I wanted to. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I will roll those up. I don't mind doing that at all. It is very cozy. It's soft. I love that I can button it up. I love that it has pockets. Yeah, I really like it. Very cute. Oh, there is a string here. So there's a little string I need to cut off, but that's not a problem. Yes, I like this one. It's, you know, it's not that heavy. It's, if you can really see, it's not super heavy, but it's also not light. It's kind of an in-between for me. In-between, I have some that have more you know, bigger stitching or bigger knit. So there's holes, you know, more air in there. And then this one is kind of in the middle. I'm trying to get this thing the right way. All right. So that's a keeper. All right. Let me try something else on. Okay. I am back with this little lace shirt. Isn't it cute? I just put, um, I put one of those camis. I'm only going to try one on. I put the blue one underneath it. I am able to pull it down. Uh, to like the waist of my jeans and then um, yeah I think it's cute I could wear it over a regular tank top or I could wear it over a longer cami I would probably for the most part with this shirt wear it over a longer cami or a regular tank and just tuck it in but I think with jeans this is adorable it also might be really cute with like a peasant skirt or something like that so I like this. Let me know what you think. It's a little bit kind of boho feeling, a little, a little like, uh, I don't know, 60s-ish maybe to me. I don't know. I really like it. It also looks some, like something that my, you know, grandmother might have made and laid out on the, uh, the coffee table. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, this does fit me much better than the other one did. Um, it's yeah i like it i would probably have something else underneath it but i do like it and i i like the bottom how it goes down i could also tuck it in so yeah i would do different things with this and it is so so soft i love it be right back okay here's that really cute flamingo t-shirt I love it. I can't wait to wear it with a pair of jeans or sweatpants or anything. It'll be great. Um, and then here are those little shorts. I like how I like the length. They're a little bit long. Um, really cute. Really cute. I think in the uh, summer, I will get a lot of wear out of these. Okay. I do like this. Super cute. Um, I do. I like it. I think it's, I think it's very nice. This is not bothering me. It's not too high. I think if I really wanted to, I could roll it down, make it a little looser like that. Ooh, kind of like it, just stretch it out a little so it sticks out. Anyway, I don't mind it. I love the sleeves. I can pull them up very easily. Um, yeah, I like it. Now the leggings. Super soft, very comfortable, super fun. I don't know if I would wear it just like this. I think it would be perfectly fine to wear it like this. I think it actually looks very cute together. My only, 
I don't know if I'm brave enough to wear this out. I don't know. It would be stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit, I think, to wear it like this since this sweater is as short as it is. That's not to say I might not do it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, I put my shirt back on because that sweater was going to get hot and I'm going to show you the shoes. Okay, first pair are these, the orange and blue with the flowers. I, I wouldn't wear them. I wouldn't wear them with, obviously, these pants, but with a pair of jeans or a pair of um, navy blue leggings or something, I think they might be really, really cute. In fact, even with that orange sweater and a pair of navy blue leggings, I might be really cute or jeans, whatever. Anyway, they are, um, they're really soft inside. Um, they do feel a tiny bit big, I, um, but I think I'm, I just tried them out without putting socks on, but if I put on a pair of thick socks, I think they'd be perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you the purple boots. I only put one on. They're definitely super cute. I like the way they look, but they are just too big. I don't even need to use the zipper to get them on and off. That's how big they are. Um, so these must definitely run, run big. So these I'm going to return and I will see if they still have them. And if they have them in a smaller size, the next size down, I'll give that one a try. Okay. Okay. The last pair of shoes, um, are the, the sandals and I'm kind of a little mixed. They are cute. I do think they're very cute but they're a bit big. They're definitely a bit big. And when I walk in them, they're, they're hitting my arch, the side, the arch is a little raised on the side and it's hitting me right in the arch. And it's just a little bit uncomfortable to walk in. So I think I will be sending these back and still be looking for a pair of dark brown sandals. But next summer, I'm sure there will be plenty of, of, uh, adorable black or dark brown sandals to choose from so I will look at them then and the harness I took it out I was going to try it on it is just buckles and stuff I I don't know it's gonna take me a little while to figure it out honestly um, and I think I'm going to try them both on at the same time and see what I like and then I will definitely at some point in the near future do a video featuring the harness and see if I can make it work for me and maybe I will try them both on at that same time once I figure out a little bit better how to get that one to go together because it it just doesn't look like it's buckled I, I couldn't figure out how to buckle it without looking at the finished product in the picture and um I'm even this shirt is hot it, it, it today was one of those days where it started out really cool this morning I had a sweater on over um, like a cardigan and it was still even a little chilly. I had boots on. And then, um, when I left work this afternoon, it was just hot. And now it's just, it's hot. <laughs> so whew, I'm a little hot. So I'm going to finish up now. And then I will, like I said, I will come back and do another video featuring the harnesses and see if it's something I can make work for me or if I just need to send them both back and say I tried. <laughs> and that's all I really wanted when I ordered them. And I ordered the two of them because I just wanted to find one that fit. So I figured whichever one fit best or I liked best, I would keep if I keep any. Um, I just wanted to try and see if I could make it work, see if I could make a cute outfit with it or if it's just not gonna not gonna do for me. But I wanted to know. So that's why I got them. And I, I will do a, a short video just working on theirs, I promise, in the next couple of weeks. So I'll put it on my list of things to do. Um, so anyway, 
remember that it is never too late. It's never too late to try something new. You never know until you try, right? Maybe it'll be great. Maybe it won't work, but at least you'll know. <laughs> I like, I'd rather know than always wonder, especially with I think that's where I'm at right now with clothes and shoes and trying things. I just, I'd rather try it and know if I liked it than always wonder if I did. Um, so yeah, I see people wearing different kinds of things, different looks, different ideas, and I just, I want to try it and see if it works for me. So it's never too late. It's never too late to just branch out into different things and, you know, see what works for you and see what doesn't. No, no hurt in trying, right? Might as well try. Well, the worst that happens is you know it doesn't work. All right, I am going to get out of here and get um get ready to make dinner and all of that good stuff. Um, I am very excited to get my computer all set up. I got it yesterday, so I'm very excited to get it all set up and be able to start using it and um maybe start editing some things and that kind of stuff. Um, I, I can't wait. Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day or evening or whatever it is when you're watching this and um, just sending you all the happiness, all the joy, the best wishes for you all. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.